Hello, welcome back to Fred, literally in the shed, the dumbest radio channel on all of YouTube. Now, just to recap what I've been doing on the last couple of videos, I've got my uh, Superstar 6900. I know a lot of you have got this radio. Now, if you tune up to 28074, it might come out as 75 on channel 18, you'll pick up this really, really strange noise that's coming through. It's quite tuneful. Now, I knew this was going to be some kind of weak signal data. I thought originally to myself it was probably going to be JT65. So I did a video just to ask the guys and the girls, to, and they came back and they said, no, Fred, that is FT8. It's definitely a weak signal data, FT8. You can decode it if you download a program, software program called WSJTX. And it was written by the creator that created FTA and uh, JT65. So anyway, that, that is what I did. I uh, did download the software and that was my last video. Um, typical, typical Fred in the Shed. <laughs> loads and loads of enthusiasm, not much calm, logical thinking. And I just set the laptop up and I connected the radio via the speaker line output into the mic socket on the computer. And it did not work. Um, wasn't all that surprised to be honest, but it did not work. So I put out a video and I asked for help if anyone uh, would be able to help me and oh my god absolutely overwhelmed with what came back um i think that video's got over 130 comments now totally totally awesome response and people have been really really good to help me now i kind of was a little bit apprehensive about putting that video out because this is obviously amateur radio stuff what i'm doing here and people could have kicked it straight back at me and said fred you know why are you mucking about with this in the shed get on to do your foundation course you've got the equipment anyway and do your foundation course do it properly and then you can do this fta you can transmit and you can receive because it's very very good i've had a look into it since making the first video and yeah fta F, ft8 sort of data it's very as i say it's weak signal and uh, just using 10 watts qrp just because you're not using any sort of audio you're not transmitting audio it's just computer signals you can get out well, thousands of miles, thousands of miles of just using this system. So it's a very, very good way of communicating on low power. And, and yeah, you could have kicked that back straight back at me. I'm glad you didn't. No, you know, not, not so much for me, but there's a lot of people coming up behind me that watch Fred in the Shed. Uh, people just go out and buy these 10 metre radios and they, they will go on. They will go on and become fully fledged radio hams. So I'm glad that the comments were really, really encouraging and, and they were. In a nutshell, what, what I've learned is that I was doing a few things wrong. Um, now the first thing, and I did notice this when I was editing the video, it was a bit of a dull moment. <laughs> and I, I imagine there's, 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 right, there's proper radio hams and oh my God, you, you must absolutely shake your head in despair. Some of my idiotics that I do on this channel, because as I say, I'm over enthusiastic. I dive straight in without really looking where I'm diving. And yeah, I do appreciate that uh, you, you must despair at me. But when I was editing the video, I noticed straight away that the clock was not in sync to the software. It was out by an hour. Can you believe that? What I was doing, I did check the seconds because Awesome David told me that I need to be within two seconds of the computer clock and the software clock for it to work. And I was checking at the seconds in sync, in sync. I didn't even look at the hour. And what's happened, my computer has got British summertime saving switched on. And yeah, it was a complete hour out and I missed that. But you picked that up on the comments uh, pretty much straight away. I think Nathan was the first one that picked it up. I'd already noticed it by then. So yeah, the first things people said to me that Fred, you need to get your computer and the software. You need it in perfect sync. It has to be almost exact. You might have a second or maybe two seconds either way but because of this data this is this f8 data because it comes through in 13 characters and one character per second plus a second either way at the end it comes through in 15 seconds sort of patches and you, you have to be in perfect sync now to do that they said you can just try and resync your computer clock via the software and that's what i'm going to try on this video if that doesn't work there is a program called dimensions 4 that you can download in on your computer that will also help. I don't want to do that at the moment because although I've got four laptops, this laptop I'm using is my prime primary laptop for my YouTube stuff, and I really don't want to put anything on there that uh, might upset it. So just gonna just gonna do the video sync on the, the internet to for this video, and, and hopefully that'll be that'll be it. Now next thing I was doing wrong is I was using the line out feed from the radio. Now that is very very sensitive to try and adjust 
try and adjust this volume level. Um, a few people said, yeah, if you're having a bit of trouble with that, use the RF gain. Just turn the RF gain down and you'll find it much easier to adjust the output of the radio. That's a really, really good tip. Thanks for that. But, uh, yeah, they said, uh, yeah, you're doing that wrong now. Uh, what you should really be doing is use a microphone. So what I've done this time, if you can just see up here on my mass speaker, there we go. I'm just using a microphone feed which I'm going to put into the microphone input on the computer and we're doing away with that line in. We're not going to try and go that, that sort of route. And then finally, people said that I was putting the input in too high. I was up to about 80 or 90 dB. And the sweet spot, according to what everyone said, is round about the 50 to 60 dB, not to go above that. And as long as I've got the volume sort of loud enough, it's hitting 50 or 60 dB, I've got the time synced on the computer with the software. In theory, because I'm only trying to receive, remember, I'm not obviously trying to transmit, I'm not going to be using the cap control or anything like that. Um, now, a few people said, you know, Fred, well, why don't you use your Yaesu 450 because that has a data out socket, you can connect that straight into the PC, it should work first time. Or maybe you can get yourself a uh, control box yeah and I know they do I know they make an interface box um, I think Digimaster do them I don't really want to go down that road it's not, not not the expense so much but it's because I'm already sort of treading on the toes of amateur radio by doing this just without being sort of licensed or anything like that and I feel that if I was to use the, the data kind of output on my FT450 on my Yosu uh, I feel I'm kind of like definitely treading on sort of toes there on amateur radio and I really should be licensed to be playing with that. So I'm not comfortable doing that. So yeah, thanks for that advice, but I'm not going to be going down that road. I want to use the 6900 just purely to see what this data is and other people can sort of follow. Right, enough talking. So we're going to go straight into it now. As I say, using those parameters, we're going to sort of set up the computer and let's hope that it works. <laughs> In theory it should work, but you know what theory is like. But anyway, here we go. Here's to here it comes. Thanks for watching. Right, so here we go. I'm going to use the mic input. I'm going to try and set the input here, the decibels, up to about, they reckon, you reckon about 50 to a maximum of 60. I had it too high. I was hitting it on the red there. And uh, you reckon that should probably work the best. So wish me luck. Here we go. I'm going to turn the sound up on a rig. I've got it on uh, 28.74 now, it's on 7.5 and lots of strong signals coming in this evening. Fantastic, it's working. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> I've got stuff coming in. There we go. It's it's <laughs> it's working. I'm really really pleased. It's working. I'm, I've zoomed out. I, I don't want to give you people's call signs. I don't think that's appropriate. So hopefully I've zoomed out enough here, and uh, you won't be able to read that on the screen. But yeah, it's working. So I've put I've put in a region as well. I've put in uh, a region one on the and the settings there that seems to have helped it but so yeah as you all said it was all down to the clock sync as my neighbor cuts his grass when i make a video the clock sync needs to be about two seconds within two seconds and then it works and the volume level is a bit difficult to keep the volume level at about sort of 50 db and someone else did make another comment that you can use the rf gain on the radio to reduce the volume and that gives you a much more sensitive adjustment and it's working and I'm made up and yeah as people said it is like text me text messaging um, there's just information coming through in packets 15 second packets um, is it something that I want to do myself um, maybe not maybe not quite at the moment but uh, maybe in the future
but I'm really I'm talking I'm bugging up the signals now but it's working so I'm really really pleased something that interests me when it came to on the radio just really really did interest me don't know and uh, yeah and I've got the day I can see the data coming through now and great so uh, what's next I don't know it's just something that I really really wanted to do but I so say I've got other stuff coming up on the channel that I want to show you um, as well as this so there you go uh, just a big 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 thanks to thanks Frank a big big thanks thumbs up I'm, <laughs> I'm quite excited I'm getting too excited I'm talking all over my words here but yeah just a big thank you for all all the help really really appreciated it especially as I'm not a ham uh, as I say you could have thrown it back in my face and I would have understood that and I'm really really pleased that you didn't but there you go um, that's it that's it from Fred in the Shed Fred in the Shed receiving FT8 data when he's not talking over the microphone on the uh, on the program there so thank you very much for tuning in more normal videos reviews and that are coming up i've got quite a bit on the camera to edit uh, but as for now as in the shed cheers thanks for watching don't forget fred 2 there's stuff on fred 2 that you may not have seen but as for now cheers thanks for watching catch you all on the next one yeah <laughs> Thank you.